Hi, namaste. How's it going? So it's 2015. Happy 2015. I'm super excited about this year. I know on so many levels, this year is going to be hugely transformational for so many people. And also for many, many people, it may very well be a year of new insights, of new beginnings, and definitely of making transitions. Maybe it might be time to change a career or to communicate new ideas to partnerships or family. Who knows? Obviously, we're all unique uh, individuals. We're unique expressions of divine loving energy. And so however we choose to move forward this year is definitely uh, coming from a place of our own loving connection to source energy and ultimately about making the choices that are truly going to serve not just ourselves but also our community and the world as a whole because if uh, you're listening to my stuff or uh, any other kind of well-being spiritual teachers out there uh, the inner creates the outer uh, so as more of us deepen our inner work and continue with the work that we're doing Indeed, we're going to start to really see some of that inner work come into manifestation in this year. I know here in Devon, um, there'll be probably a nice healing center opening up, as well as some, uh, some monthly get-togethers uh, with like-minded individuals, of course. You call this sort of new paradigm communities or... Uh, new world order kind of things these small pockets these little tribal communities are starting to come together on a mass or global scale and this is really what's starting to destabilize a lot of the systems or the current slash old systems in place that uh, used to and to some degree are still dictating how we're moving and how we're sort of relating to ourselves and one another. So for this vlog, I really just wanted to wish you all a really, really happy new year. And uh, it's just for me really to continue, uh, you know, processing things and, and allowing certain insights to come to light. Um, I know that obviously over the holidays, a lot of us are going to be spending uh, extra time or I guess concentrated time with our family and I know for myself, and I'm probably not alone on this, uh, our family I think um, can bring up probably some of our deepest and possibly most troublesome um, personal issues with of course the reactive patterns that come along with those said issues um, starting to realize more and more how very unique we are in the sense that um, with our family our families are people that we probably draw comparisons on the most which is why it makes it so very easy to fall back into certain patterns um, the, the biggest bit of advice that I could share as far as um, how I've um, come away from the family holidays year, uh, this year with a slightly different perspective is um, the fact of our presence and how hugely beneficial our presence um, and backing that awareness or that presence in the moment is an intention, a very powerful intention to heal our familial wounds and I know for myself so I have specific wounds and it's it's not about the other people it's about my own journey and my own karma and uh, my own intentions but I have um, I have different lessons um, to learn and therefore things or energetic lines to heal with um, every member so for me it's my sister my dad and my mom for some of us we have bigger families so we might have um, 
maybe fewer but still have lessons to learn from each family member and especially coming to 2015 I feel like um, this year I'll probably be communicating a lot more um, vocally about things that I believe in and this one probably might sound quite radical to a lot of people uh, but I believe that it's time to just speak about it is is our ability to practice detachment with our family and how that can serve us and expand us in our own life's journey and actually how it can expand the love and compassion that we feel towards our family members especially when we have negative reactive patterns so patterns that um, inhibit our own freedom of expression and um, really sort of stifle our own um, purity or our own um, self so who we are and how our family can either um, or how our perception sorry of our family can stifle our own expansion our own sense of self um, but how being present with those reactive patterns can really obviously help to dissolve them um, but what I found this year which I which was really sort of miraculous was that through that presence and a little bit of honest communication with a couple people um, I started to feel really overwhelming love and compassion that um, is growing. So that love and compassion that I'm feeling towards my, my family is growing bigger and broader in the sense that I am able to see them more as unique individuals rather than my sister, rather than my mom or my dad. And I know that for me, what serves me best is to see them as happy as possible. And we all know, we all flit in and out. We all have our moods. We all have our drama. We all have our issues. Um, but it's really important for me at this time in my life, as much as I'm practicing self-love and visualization and really um, on feeling on purpose and feeling uh, happy, that if I sense other people around me, especially people I love very deeply, um, when I perceive they're not happy, part of that is again my own reactive pattern and perception of them. Um, but also again, to use my practice in a way that not just benefits myself, my reactive patterns, but also um, the person that I might be feeling or thinking about. So making sure that I don't snap judge <coughs> and assume that they're, um, they should be doing this or they should be doing that. I'm not, again, I'm not here to fix anybody. And that's something I've had to release this year is I'm not here to make my mom happy and I'm not here to fix anyone or anything. In fact, something that came up in conversation was really that that comes from an egoic place that comes from a place of separation and thinking that the other person needs to be fixed the other person needs to change so that i can be happier and what i found was just being in silence and just allowing myself to feel and process whatever it was that i felt and to really kind of own that past my own past sense of self where i was denying myself and constantly either thinking I was trying to make something else better for somebody else or change their habits or change their patterns. Meanwhile, it was really all in me. I had my own issues. I had my own stuff to sort out. And of course, that stuff came up and again over the holidays. The difference being this time was again no projection, not putting it on other people, letting myself stay committed to who I am and to who I feel not feeling the need to engage in certain subject matter because that didn't resonate with me, but also to totally accept other people as they are. And there was an Abraham quote that came along that just said, making peace with people who oppose you. And so um, I'll just leave you with that. Making peace with our families or having an intention to actually heal those lines and really noticing and owning our own reactive patterns around them. 
that our parents aren't to blame and our siblings aren't to blame and and there's no such thing as like the perfect family and the more we can be detached and own our own sense of self responsibility when it comes to our own healing when it comes to our own sort of expansion and pursuit of happiness that we're not reliant or dependent on our families. The best thing that we can do is see everyone we know in a very positive and happy place and to continue our own inner work so that our own love and our own cultivation and harnessing of light-filled energy can extend even further beyond our families and certainly beyond our own self. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Happy, happy 2015, and I'm so looking forward to expanding in joy with you. Um, peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Take care.